I have a really big and heavy piece of chain mill. It's a shirt that I use for playing basketball. Uh, I made it because I didn't want to pay a whole bunch of money for one of them expensive vests. This one works exactly the same. It actually weighs the same amount. And what I've done is I put these straps on here. If you can see that, I put straps on there so whenever I'm jumping and it comes down, it won't hurt me as bad. I'm going to show you how to put this heavy thing on. You just slip your arms through here. Oh. And that's it. You put it on and you start playing basketball. It's got plenty of movement. You can move your arms the same amount as what you could with a regular shirt on. It just gives you... This one's actually about 20 pounds. It weighs <laughs> a lot, as you can see. It's just the right length, so if you're bending over to pick the ball up or moving around to, you know, try to dunk the ball on a shorter goal, maybe, like I do on a nine and a half foot goal, but I do that. But I can actually touch a 10 foot goal. So, and I've shown you in my other video of me playing basketball. I'm only five foot four, but I've got a pretty good leap on me. But that's how you put the chain mill on. Now taking it off is a different part. It's a little more complicated. It actually just slip your head through, and that's about it. Once I get my new shirt fixed, that I'll just be using to wear around, then I'll show you how to put that one on at a later time. And if you want to see some of my latest work, I have a piece of chain mill here that's a big old cross. I'll show you later more about it in my next video.